What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, brand new co-op dungeon guide for Brothers of Fire. Maybe I should have done that way before, but I never really thought it was necessary to do a Brothers guide. But I get asked a lot about a speedrunning guide, like how to do Brothers of Fire fast, what people do to do it under 4 minutes all the time. I'm gonna show you uh, all the parts of the dungeon and how people split and how they use their AM bombs. It's one of the strategies I'm gonna show you guys, but I'm sure some other guys run it uh, with some different things here and there. So read the comments, I'm sure some guys will share their tips in the comments, but here we go. Before you start Brothers of Fire, you should decide when you go with your squad uh, about who's gonna go with the first AM bomb. And it's important to decide before because you don't want to waste two AM bombs on the first spot. But I'll show you guys the first place to use the AM bomb is at the first big fight. So when you start, you have two switches left and right. So you split one guy uh, hit the left switch, one guy hit the right switch, and then you go uh, through that door. Then you're gonna take a ride and when you speed run you can ignore a lot of stuff but here's the first big fight and you have to kill a couple enemies to trigger the big spawn a lot of uh, enemies will spawn after you kill these first couple guys so there's the am bomb uh it's gonna get rid of most of the stuff and you can get ready to enter the door right away and as soon as the door open you go behind you hit that switch and then you can move ahead to the next big fight so why I said it's important to decide who's going to get the first AM bomb because the guy who used this first AM bomb will go on the left corridor. There's the left corridor and the right corridor after this big fight and there's a switch behind the crusher. So once you're done killing most of the or all of the enemies in this room, the door will open and you have access to the switch. The switch will unlock two corridors behind the blue door. So if you look at the door, there's the right corridor and the left corridor. But if you come to the room, it's the other way. So I use my AM bomb. I'm responsible for that corridor. And you see the right symbols at the top. So my friend clicked the switch. The door opens. I'm ready to go. And you're going to take uh, two rights and two left. So this is right, right again, then left, and then left again. As you see, I ignore everything. Then you move to that corridor. Behind the shielder, there's a switch. So you have to activate that switch. It will open access to the first generator. So you come back from where you entered and then you go straight ahead. That door is now open and you will have access to that switch there to activate the first teleport generator. So now you come back to the teleporter room, follow the blue signs at the top. Uh, I did uh, have to practice a couple of times to get uh, my way back and try to do it fast. But if you do it right, you'll be back at this room where you were just before, all right? Now, what's the other guy going to do or the other guys are going to do? We will see right now. So this is the big fight again before I open the two corridors. Uh, the other two guys kept their AM bombs. As you see, I did another run to show you guys, but I got my AM bomb ready and one of my friend has his AM bomb ready the third guy will go the right corridor so this time i'm gonna take the other corridor but i want to show you guys how we are able to shave a couple seconds so one guy will fight close to the door because as soon as the fight is done you're ready to enter and click the switch you need to do it as fast as possible to open the way for your friends now someone entered before me and threw his am bomb so when i get there everything's already cleared and I'm ready to go. I'm going to do the next corridor. So take two left, go uh, straight ahead. And when you get to that room is where you use your AM bomb. I'm going to use it about there, uh, get rid of the spiders and everything. But I click that switch. It's going to open the way uh, in the back. And I'm going to have access to the uh, teleporter uh, generator number two. So while I'm doing this, someone's doing the other corridor. You do it at the same time. That's why this dungeon is so fast. So you come back, follow the blue path again, look at the top and you get there and the teleporter is at already uh, good to, to go. So you're going to go up and now you're going to go all the way. Uh, this could be tricky if you don't know the dungeon, but it's pretty simple. You go straight ahead and in the back, there's a switch. You're going to have to uh, click that switch. And then in the big room, you click everything except one switch. It's uh, the one on the right when you look at the door there. 
So click everything else and then you're good to go to the boss fight. Now you teleport to the boss fight, you're gonna have to go to that console and hack uh, the keyboard Cypher Tool 2.0. And of course, uh, if you have uh, someone on your team that's pretty good with hacking, uh, you should leave it to this guy, but I'm not so great. I'm using controller, but this is the boss fight. So you have supercharge ready. Everyone should have their supercharge pretty much. And this is the boss fight. So try to get some hits in the back at the start because you get easy crit and supercharger on top. And then collect your loot. The boss fight is very fast, honestly. So 343 here. And uh, I'm going to let the full run go at the end, the 343 run. It's actually not a perfect run, but it's an A squad, nobody died. But usually you can do much faster than 343. You can do under 330 uh, cons consistently if you play with the same squad all the time, if you get to know your route, and if all your partners know what they have to do. Now, why Brothers of Fire? Because every time you complete five dungeons, you get 5,000 fame. It's a nitro mission and it's repeatable and you can do it multiple times in a day. So you can imagine the top players on the leaderboard, they do that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times to get the quick fame and to boost their fame for the leaderboard. Brothers of Fire is the number one way to get quick fame. It's good to unlock your perks, or if you just want fame for the leaderboard, it is the way to go. You don't have to wait like PvP. You get a squad, you get in, and you start. It happens instantly. So now all you have to do is get a squad, define your roles, and practice, practice, practice. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.